Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and interactive review of the Dragon Naturally Speaking Home Edition speech recognition software. This is version 12 that sells for roughly 70 bucks on Amazon.com and it also includes a bundled headset with a microphone that you can use. This should technically be better than the built-in speech recognition software on Windows 7, 8, and 10 because again it's 70 bucks extra and we will certainly test those claims out and see if this one works. The software allows you to turn talk into type, so you can just speak whatever you want to write in Microsoft Word, in emails, and other documents as well. You can just say launch Microsoft Word, that will automatically pop up as well. So it should save you a bit of time. However, it's all down to whether or not the software is very accurate. If you have to make a ton of corrections, then obviously it can take actually more time in the long run. However, this definitely was something that interested us because as editors, we have to write a ton of reviews and articles online. So if this can save us a bit of time, we are going to try it out and see how it works. This is the home edition. There's also a premium edition that adds a few more functionality, but will be a bit more expensive. And for general users, I would recommend trying out the home edition first to see if you like it and then updating it to the new version. So we have a bit more information on the inside. This is basically what part of the uh, application looks like once you install it in your computer. And in the box, we have the aforementioned headset. There is an instruction card that tells you how to install things properly. It documents all the steps and the setup. There is the actual software as well as a code on the very back that you need to enter to have the software be working correctly. And this is the bundled headset. The headset comes with its own instruction card that tells you the various features, how to set it up, and the cable length is also very good, so you can definitely pop this in to even a desktop and not have to worry about the cable being too short. You can notice that we have two 3.5mm jacks. One goes into the auxiliary port, the other one is for the microphone port on your computer. It supports both Mac and PC, and the actual headset here offers a decent quality. It's mainly made out of plastic. So although it's not the most comfortable headset in the world, it definitely does the job. The actual headband can be adjusted to accommodate different sizes for your head, and it's pretty malleable and bendable and also very lightweight. The actual microphone here can be twisted. It is actually very easy to bend the arm, and there's a condenser as well, so the speech clarity on this particular uh, microphone should be quite high. Uh, at least that's again part of that bundled $70 deal. So next we're going to take a look at how the system operate. This is what the computer software looks like and as you can see it's always going to pop up on screen here uh, until you close the entire thing off. You can set this program to automatically open each time your computer starts and to turn the microphone on you would simply say it or you can also tap on the right hand icon on the top there. That icon will turn green that means the microphone is then on. During the setup process it takes about 30 minutes to go through the tutorial and first it customizes the software so it knows your diction, the way you speak, just to make things a bit more accurate you actually have a few passages to read back to the computer and the software so again it tunes to your specific diction the loudness of your voice and the position of the microphone and that works pretty decently i chose alice in wonderland and a passage to read from that afterwards on the right hand you have access to a dragon sidebar with popular commands that you can use to control the microphone open up different applications and it's a universal uh, application in the sense that well, microsoft word powerpoint browsing the web text files so on and so forth so it does work pretty nicely and compared to the built-in free voice recognition software in Windows 7 Windows 8 uh, I found that this was indeed a bit more accurate you're still gonna have some errors especially for words that are not commonly used and mainly used in specializations for instance if I said MediaTek or a name like Qualcomm or even CPU GPU oftentimes it's not gonna get that correct unless I speak very slowly however there is dictionary functionality so you can save those words into part of the vocabulary it will learn that and predict it next time so things get a lot smoother as you start using it over time but it is again a bit more accurate than the built-in recognition software that I tried with Microsoft Word in the past so doing a quick demo I'm gonna turn the actual microphone on so again you do lose a little bit of your screen real estate just because this bar will always be on the top no matter what you do all right I'm now gonna go ahead and talk to the software open notepad this is a test of the speech recognition software on the Dragon 12 software. Period. New paragraph. Hello, and welcome to this video review here at OS Reviews. Backspace, 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 
backspace, backspace, backspace. So as you can see there, if you speak really quickly, it basically goes ahead and actually writes out the word. So if you wanted to do a, a simple command, like actually erase a word or replace a word, you have to go a little bit more slowly. Same thing goes with actual letters, such as like CPU, as opposed to just one word. You have to go, again, a little bit slower. So in general, the actual recognition, as far as the accuracy goes, is indeed pretty impressive. So I was talking at a slower pace than I would usually do, maybe if I was having a conversation with a real person, but you can see that as long as your diction is on point, it's going to have no trouble with what you're saying. What's kind of interesting is Dragon 12 also has the ability for you to customize the way you speak uh, and set up your profile. So for example, if I was originally from Latin America and I had a bit of an accent, you can set it up so it gets a customized to that particular accent from a particular region in the world. And you can do that for Europe, for Asia, so on and so forth. So it really is something that will work for most people, I think, uh, which is great. So you can also, of course, use the software for searching the web for specific commands that works kind of like Siri, and they can turn it off just by saying turn off microphone, and that works as well. On the top left-hand corner, there's also a little bar here that tells you how loud you're speaking, so you can uh, customize that too according to your surroundings. Uh, but overall, I would say that the program definitely works, and it does a decent job. Now, if you speak really quickly, there will be a bit more of errors, so I'm going to give you a quick test if I talk really quick. This is what happens if you speak really quickly using the software. As you can see, there will be a lot more errors. Period. Microphone off. So there you go. As you can see, there will be more errors. So of course, it's not as good as, again, talking to a real human person. But I think it definitely is a step up compared to the free voice recognition software you'll find built into Microsoft Windows. And we have Windows 10 here. As you can see, it's working just fine. It's going to be great for people that have laptops with smaller keyboards that aren't very comfortable and you have to uh, peck at it. This might be a good option to go with just because it makes things faster uh, than typing out. Uh, of course, that's going to vary from person to person, but I found it to be pretty accurate. It's great for jotting down some quick notes as well as for emails and more informal stuff. For more formalized essays, and papers, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this just because you will still have those errors and you have to go back and correct them. And if you miss one, that seems a little bit odd. And also the way that we speak and the way that we write isn't necessarily going to be the same in terms of the tone. So that's something to note. 70 bucks, I think it's pretty good. Is it perfect? It's not. Uh, I think there's still going to be some work to be done in the software department, but it's a great attempt. And overall, we give this two thumbs up. To learn more information about the Dragon Naturally Speaking suite of software, be sure to read our articles on our website. This has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS.